Columbia players feel for anybody in the GBLC movement. They love these people. And these good people behind me this morning have taken time out of their busy schedule. Some of most, a lot of these men look after churches and people they could be visiting, but they love you people so much they have set a time aside to speak to you about the very necessary need for you folks to repent of your sins and come to Jesus Christ as your Savior. Are we not homophobes? Hold that question in your heads and let me give you another couple of witnesses. Go to the BBC website. And they quoted results from the Health Protection Agency in Northern Ireland. And they said that the majority of people with HIV and AIDS come from homosexual men. So that's the truth. That is reported the BBC. You might have a question mark after that. But that's reported by the Health Protection Agency who get all the results from the hospitals in this time. Witness number two is the Health Protection Agency. Witness number three, it is a well-known fact that men and women that are involved in these lifestyles have on average a decade less to live than ordinary heterosexual people. That is a statistical fact, friends. That's witness number three. Witness number four, it is a well-known fact that people that are involved in these lifestyles have an order and magnitude greater mental problems, even <laughs> in countries, friends, even in countries where all the laws no, protecting GBLT rights are in force. They have an order of magnitude greater mental problems. We have a mental problem. problems. And I want to ask you a question. Are we not homophobes today? Yeah, no. Why will you not repent of your sins and call upon 